I wanted to make a quick video on the best compression settings to use to give you the best looking video for your Instagram TV channel. This tutorial is for Mac users who will be uploading their videos to their Instagram TV channels from my iPhone and who use Final Cut Pro X and Apple's compressor to compress their videos. Then once your video is edited and ready to go, open up compressor and drag your video into the processing window. Even though the setting that we're going to use is going to be a custom setting, it's still best to start with a setting that's close to what we're going for. So we'll choose one from the Publish to YouTube drop down tab. Grab that setting and drag it onto your video. The two things we're going to change here are the frame size, which is the resolution, and the data rate. Click in the inspector window to the right and click on the video tab. Now go down to the frame size tab. So in this example, we'll be sending our edited and compressed 4K video to our iPhone. So the frame size can't exceed the frame size that the iPhone has the ability to play. For 4K on the iPhone, those dimensions are 3840 by 2160. So we'll set the dimensions to 3840 by 2160. But if like in this example, it doesn't automatically set itself to the 3840 by 2160, it doesn't mean that anything is necessarily wrong. It just means that the video was shot with a camera whose dimensions in 4K are something other than the 3840 by 2160. In this example, my show reel was shot with my RED camera and RED's dimensions in 4K are 4096 by 2160. Next, we'll go down to the data rate tab. Instead of web publishing, choose custom because we're going to insert our own custom data rate. Once custom is chosen, the number field will become editable. In that number field, put 40,000 because we want our video to play back at 40,000 kilobits per second. If you look back into the processing window, it says that the location is source. What that means is that the location of the video that we're about to compress now, once it's finished, will be in the same location as the original video. So hit the start batch button at the bottom of the processing window, wait for it to do its thing, and then you're done. I'm putting together a series called Five Ways to Give Your Videos a Cinematic Look Using Your iPhone. So leave any ideas you may have for that series in the comments section, as well as any thoughts you may have about this video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys' time. If you found this video helpful, please share it and please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe.